Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just got home, it's like 2 a.m. And I thought, okay, let me just create a video for you guys because so this is also one of the most demanded videos where my followers have asked me hey Naomi how do you edit food pictures because honestly as much as people can take great pictures from selfies to sceneries to landscapes it's really hard to edit pictures I mean food pictures now when you go out for like again a date night or um, off a of breakfast Pictures of the food is always dependent on the light. So sometimes it's dim, sometimes it's yellowish, sometimes it's bluish, sometimes it's just white, or sometimes you go for a date night but you want to take a really good picture. So how do you edit all of that? And I am here to show you the same. So now the first thing I do after I take a food shot is process all the images to Visco, which is VSCO. I'm pretty sure you've heard of this app. It is a paid app. I'll put the rate right down here. There are a lot of free filters, but I have purchased this app. It's not that expensive annually. So, so yeah, I just purchased it. Now, what I did is, as you can see, there are six images over here that I've just imported because I feel these are some pictures that I can really transform and show you how I transform them. So let's get cracking. So now what I'm going to do is I'm first going to edit this picture. Now, as you can see, there are multiple filters over here, but I have favorited some of them. So I'm just going to use those filters and get right there. So as you can see in this picture, the main concerns are there is there's uneven lighting over here, like it's yellow and then it's like darkish. And then over at the top, it's like white. And then there are many things in the food that you can't really see properly. So it's just about kind of bright brightening this image now just one thing when i go to restaurants uh if it's super dark what i do is i put my flashlight right there like that and just imagine the food is over here i put my flashlight over here or i cover it with you know the the tablecloth or the handkerchiefs that we get so i just cover it just so the light gets softened and the food dish is right here and then and then i have the camera on this hand and then i have the flash on this hand and then i just click it so that's what i do so because of this even the pictures that I take at night they also tend to be bright so which is why I'm not taking a super dark picture and just making it super bright because you know what happens when a picture is super dark and you try to increase the exposure brightness highlights shadows and so much more it just turns out more grainy and the noise is just way too much so yeah so those are some of the imperfections in this video so what I'm just gonna do is I'm just going to go to AL1 because I feel that's one of the that's one of my favorite filters that automatically auto corrects any picture because I have noticed most of the restaurants that I go to the light is more on the yellow side so immediately to tone it down and make it a bit more cool I just put AL1 and then everything is fine so now I'm just going to use a few editing techniques that you can that you can see So now the HSL is one of my favorite features because I can literally make all the colors pop. So if I just increase the saturation slightly over here and then I do that and then I can do that. So I just want to make it super bright first and do that. Yeah, and then even the greens, I really want that to pop. So that's what I'm going to do. And I want to minimize the blue light. Skewing is super important now guys, if you don't know, I am quite short, so because of that, if I take a picture from the top, it just tends to get tilted um, automatically, involunt involuntarily, so skewing is very important for me. So can you already see the stark difference? So now I'm just going to save this to camera roll. Now a good feature that Visco has is, I can copy the edits that I've put in this picture and I can paste it to these because they are very similar in style. And then I can paste it to these as well. So you see the difference it makes? A huge difference. And then even over here. 
So of course, at times, depending depending on your feed and depending on the aesthetics of your feed, you would either want a picture to be super bright or you would want to make it super dark. Now, if I want to make it more towards the darker side, I could just put a darker filter to it. And then even here, I can reduce this right here. And then even the yellow, I can just reduce it slightly. So it's immediately become dark. And I can just reduce the warmth that and the greens and stuff it's already pasted over here you see what I just did there and then I just click save okay now this image as you can see I just want to play with shadows slightly I'm just trying to find a filter okay so I think I'm gonna go for this filter I'll show you why I'm just gonna make this like super vintagey type i'm gonna enhance the greens and the reds put tint right there freeze that freeze that and then just make it let me just set the dimensions so if it's Instagram, it's obviously four is to five, and then just do that. And then there you go. Look at the difference. You see, so if you want, you can just choose a filter that has a beautiful vignette in the background um, or plays a lot with the shadows. And then you just have a beautiful picture right there. Okay, so now I just went to Snapseed and I just want to show you the picture that I first edited. So do you see that imperfect lighting? So what I just did is, did is I went to tools, I clicked selective, I went to that area, I just reduced that area, went to saturation and then just completely turned it down. And if there are certain areas that I need more brightness, I just put the brightness right there. And in certain areas where I feel it's not sharp enough, I just add more structure to it. And these parts I feel are slightly blue. So I just reduce the saturation completely in those areas. And this area, I kind of wanted to make it dark. So I increase the contrast and reduce the brightness, reduce the saturation. I want to make it a bit soft. So I reduce the structure and then I do the same here. What I can even do is I can copy these settings and paste it over here as well. I love this red that's right here, so I want to make it pop, so I increase the brightness right there as well. I again go to the selective tool because it restricts you. You can't um, put those many options there. And I'm just going here and just increasing the brightness in certain areas wherever I want to. Now, again, guys, it's all based on your aesthetics. If you like dark pictures, edit it accordingly. I personally just like bright pictures, especially when it comes to food, because I feel only with brightness can you actually see the color and the ingredients in the food. Do you see the difference? Okay, so now let's take this picture again what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna increase the brightness now now guys remember one thing if you increase the brightness of the entire picture the areas that are already white for example the feta cheese or the plates everything will become brighter so i don't want to do that so i'm just doing selective editing and that is what you can do only on snapseed so i'm again reducing these yellow colors that i don't like I'm increasing the brightness here and guys this doesn't even look like it has blueberries or blackberries so I'm just going to increase the brightness there entirely going to increase the brightness here okay I want to show you the before and after do you see the difference? Yeah, it's quite huge. Export. Okay, so remember I told you I just went for a tasting for a date night. So these are all the pictures I took. And guys, 
these pictures were taken at night so i actually did that trick so this is how it looks and i want to show you how i edit them now again over here as you can see it's a bit warm so i kind of go here i go to al1 and and because it was already so dark because it was a fine dining restaurant you will see that automatically the background is already like super dark and this was all taken with my dslr just enhancing the greens do you see the immediate difference i want to copy these edits and paste it on everything because i was in the same lighting and i took the same pictures so i'm just pasting these edits right here so now what i'm gonna do is as you can see they've all slightly turned worse so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to see what actually made that happen so i'm just going to go to one picture in particular i'm gonna fix that right here so this is literally selective editing as i was telling you it's so effective do you see the difference so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy these edits and then paste it on everything else because those pictures got ruined paste edits do you see what immediately happened? That was stunning. <laughs> now, as you can see, all the pictures will need minimal editing. Sorry guys, my camera died, so it's charging right now. Okay, so now guys, what I'm gonna do is I just went to Snapseed and there are certain pictures where you can't always remove all the purples or all the blues because it goes from the entire picture so that way you need to do more of a selective editing and that can only be done on snapseed now let us take this picture now this picture the leaves over here are purple already so which is why in the selective tool i could not remove more purple because i did not like purple or red because i didn't want it to impact the leaves so again what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do selective editing everywhere right here Guys, now I want to show you this particular picture. Now, this is a very pretty picture, but this bowl was actually completely white and I want to show that it was white. So I'm just going to increase that slightly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the edits here to here, just like that. You see what I did there? It's amazing. And the greens, I just want to make pop. What is this yellow? I'm gonna reduce that. And then Jake was kind of like pointing something randomly, so I just want to remove that entirely. I just used the healing tool and <laughs> and done. Guys, look, this is freaking magic. Those were my tips and tricks, you guys. I hope it works for you and your food pictures are snatched af and like i always tell you in all my editing videos don't forget to tag me if you use any of these tips and tricks because i would love to see them and if you have any other editing ideas like video tutorials that you want from me don't forget to comment below give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you like my video and my channel bye